Hey, have you seen Addis lately? Um, yeah, just the other week, actually. It's much different than I remember him at university. All he does now is complain about his problems. Yeah, he certainly changed, but I actually feel sympathy for him. I also take great annoyance in dogs crapping in the streets, untimely noise when I seek relaxation, and the loneliness of not having love. You mean to tell me you don't see yourself in him at all? Yes, I see myself in him, and the fact that I, like most other poles, from time to time, moan and groan. But not to the extent that I'm made miserable by every single annoyance that presents itself. I have no sympathy for a man like that. His neighbors annoy him. His students don't respect him. He feels his mother controls him, and people in the store even push him around. How can you feel no sympathy? I blame these very annoyances for any unhappiness I ever feel. It's these irritations that bring people misery. Those are all commonplace annoyances that everyone faces. Every bit of sadness or anger that he feels from those complaints is self-inflicted. I face the same annoyances daily as a professor, so why am I able to cope? Because I have accepted who I am, and I know the only thing standing between myself and happiness is me. Well, I still feel for him. I blame the annoyances we all, fa uh, blame the annoyances we all face for the problems in our lives. He didn't choose to be unhappy. The environment he lives in what keeps him down. He will continue to fear and obsess until he accepts who he is and regains passion for the life he chose. You and he both need to learn that you must look to yourself before blaming others for your problems. You have to pull the thumb before you point the finger. If you can't blame daily annoyances, then what's left? If I were him, I'd regret my career path and blame my sadness on that. Once again, that problem is self-inflicted. He, like all of us, must choose a path. He had passion for teaching, so he chose to be a teacher. This is something he, should t he shouldn't regret or be unhappy about. He should take pride in it. Well, I will be sure to pass along that knowledge the next time I see Adas. Good day. Good day, sir.